G'day guys, it's Michael again, and here I'm going to show you some more stuff for fishing, okay? Firstly, I'm going to show you one of the easiest knots to do in fishing. This is, anyone can do this knot, and it's very good, very effective. It's called a blood knot. Okay, so you get this fishing line, you get your eye of your hook, you put it through the eye of the hook. Okay, twist about five times. Oh, that's sharp, very sharp. Okay, chemically sharp on hooks. Just be careful when you're doing that. So I've got about five twists in there and put it back through that loop. Okay, just back through the loop. See that? When you're tightening this, it's very important. See, oh, you're going to get a bit of a purchase on this. When you're tightening these knots, wet it. Okay? The lubrication on the knot stops it from overheating. When the fishing line gets too hot, right, from the friction of it heating up and getting pulled tight, it can create a weak spot in the, in the knot. So, and always trim it too, but like, now, I pulled my knots up to breaking strain. So I'm guaranteed that they're not gonna come off when I do have that big heavy fish on or any fish all right so that's just a blood knot okay very effective I use that to tie on all my swivels very easy not to do okay this rig today I'm going to show you is called a running rig and this is perfect for the surf perfect for the surf all right so crane swivels is what's or of the day, I can tell you that. These things are fantastic. Very good swivel. Okay, here I have some 60 pound Jinkai leader. All right, with a running sinker on it. Okay, and I have here three hooks all snelled in line. Okay, this is for running maybe a big pilchard. Pilchards are awesome bait in the surf. Uh, salmon love them, tailor love them, Flathead, uh, brim. Okay, very good bait. Jewfish will even eat these. All right, fantastic. All snelled on. Okay. So when the fish grabs the bait, it takes off, and the singer just sits there, and then till that comes up. All right. So effectively, when the fish bites your line, your, your hooks, you're feeling on your rod straight away. So it's a very good rig for light surfing, light surf fishing, okay? Very good rig. Okay, I'm going to show you one more rig that I always have in my tackle box. For the rare occasion that you're going to get some bait on the way and you can't, like the bait shop shut and it's too late, this rig here is a surf popper rig. Okay, and I use three-way swivels for this. I tie my braid onto that. Down to another three-way swivel. And then down to my snap swivel with a sinker on it. Okay. So when this sinker's on the bottom, this one here is floating just above the bottom. Okay. It's too short to actually reach the sinker. Okay. And this one here, this is a surf popper. Okay. This actually is flamboyant. You know, it, it's buoyant in the water, so it actually wants to jump up. Okay, this thing here will bob up and down, and that's why they call it a surf popper, because it just keeps popping up and down, okay? And salmon love these things. I've caught more salmon on this than I have on anything else. Okay, fantastic idea. This is just a saltwater fly with a small hook on it, and these are very effective. So like this two hook rig, I can throw in and know that it doesn't matter whether I've got no bait or not, I'm still gonna catch some fish. And with the fish I catch on this, I cut down little strips and then I can put them onto bigger rigs. Like this one here. This is a Mulloway rig, so I put big strips of bait on it. Okay? So there's two really good rigs that you can use in the surf. Okay. I'll catch you later. I've got more to show you in the next video. Um, yeah, a special treat. 
the beach burley bucket so i'll speak to you soon bye